Hello guys, uh, good uh, day. Welcome to our tutorial for the pandas and uh, we are going to have the topic called cleaning data. So as you know already, um, our data set as are dirty no there are some errors on it so examples of uh, bad data could be empty cells data in wrong format wrong data and duplicates so in this tutorial you will learn how to deal with all of them so we're going to have some data cleaning and uh, data cleaning means fixing bad data in your data set so this is our sample of our data set. So we have here duration, date, polls, max polls, and calories. So the data set contains some empty cells. Uh, we have the date in row 22. Uh, you can see there none. And calories in row 18 and uh, row 20. Eight. The data set contains wrong format, date in row 26, as you can see there's no, that's not a string, no? And in row 7, as you can see in row 7 guys, uh, there is also an error in duration in row 7. You can see the duration is 450 so that's uh, too high for that uh, value no? for that value then the data set contains two plates um, in row 11 and row 12 as you can see here same information so these are just duplicates uh, uh, this is a result of uh, entering the same information twice so that's an example of a duplicate okay so we'll first discuss about empty cells by the way we're using the w3 schools um website for this particular tutorial so empty cells empty cells can potentially give you a wrong result when you analyze data so one way to deal with empty cells is to remove rows that contain empty cells so you have to remove the rows this is usually okay since data sets can be very big and removing a few rows will not have a big impact on the result so this is an example of the code for removing data and here, data frame. So you have there import pandas as pd, then df equals pd that red csv underscore csv data that csv. Then you have new df that's your new uh, data no. New df equals df that drop in a. So this particular code, the df that drop in a, removes the particular uh, string. So, okay, so let's try to run this one. You can click by it yourself so that you can code. So as you can see there in our data, uh, the data is has, the data has none. Um, let's go to our data CSV. So as you can see there, uh, what particular entry is that? Here on number 45, as you can see number 45, uh, is that 45? No, the 45 is, these are the data that you have in your uh, CSV. So, where is that none? So there, okay. This one, as you can see, there's an empty, empty data here. So that's 
an error that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. On the 22, um, value there is okay. The data there is omitted. Um, as you can see here, 21, then you have 23. That is because of our code here in Python that drops all the none in the data table. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so in this case, in this case, on this particular code, um, we, we just created a new a new DF no? uh, wherein um, there is no longer that information and uh, if you want to change the original data frame use the in place equals to argument so as you can see here uh, DF that drop in a in place equals true so what will happen to that is it will be changed now the rows will be uh, the rows with null values will be removed as you can let's try to click this one to check whether that particular information i guess that's 22 now you can see here it's already the the DF no. if you want to print the DF so if you want to add some describe print DF that describe okay let's try to run hopefully there would be some changes on our code okay so there you go guys so you have now the count there are only 29 information right here and uh, all the data the data are removed then you also have the standard division the minimum and the max Okay, so that's it guys and um, another way of solving uh, with empty cells is to insert a new value instead so the way you do not have to delete entire rows just because some of some empty cells um, the fill in a method allows us to replace empty cells with a value so um, as you can see here in our code we have df that fill in a 130 in place equals true. Let's try to click this one. Okay, so as you can see here, our value, this is our result of the note of our row 18. Row 18, this is row 18. And uh, you can see for row 18 um, we put a value of 130 to that in a and uh, on uh, also to this one to the day uh, 822 it became 130 and uh, on 28 we put 130 so with this code, a df that fill in a the value in place equals true. Uh, we could change our our data. Uh, the problem with that is we're able to replace one credit all the NAs. We don't want that to happen. So we have this next topic called replace 
only for a specified clones. So, that is to, end it, to only replace empty values for one column, specify the column name for the data frame. So, as you can see here, this is our code. We have DF. So, we have DF calories, no? For calories, that fill in a 130 in place equals true. So, this means that you're going to replace only the non- uh, for 130 for that particular value you can click that for to check so this one with this particular code as you can see um, we feel now we feel an information of 130 only for the calories only for the calories calories column so you can take note here that on row 18 you have 130 here and also row 28 row 28 130 so this particular information um, comes from comes from the um, from our code where we put 130 there on this particular code and uh, as you can see on our column for the date is this date see if it is date yeah it's date there is still none no so if you want to replace a date for this one let's say for example the date for this one is as you can see as you can see here it could be 21 or 22 if you have daily let's say if you do it daily so the correct information here is um we're going to fill an information of 220 12 22 so how should we solve that with the knowledge that we have uh, we are going to have here we can copy this code i thought the video copying is good Important thing is you know how to okay you know what's happening this is date okay date then fill in a um twenty twenty plus twelve twenty two is equals true and let's try to run this particular code hopefully on our 22 okay there you go guys the date is 20 12 22 um let's try to let's call this one let's try to open this the information it's still okay <laughs> as you can look at here guys on 2022 it's 7.6 <laughs> So what we'll do is let's try to put something like run and what happened still. I don't know how to add let's try to do this guys again for the last time. Okay, number 22. Oh. We were able to add. <laughs> so that's it. And uh, with that, we were able to add some information for our NE, NA, for the NAN. Okay, so let's proceed with our tutorial. Um, what's next? replace using mean median or mode okay so common way to replace empty cells is to calculate the mean the median or mode value of the column so pandas uses the mean median and mode methods to calculate the respective values for a specified column um as you can see here this particular code uh it calculate the mean and replace the empty values with it 
So this is not this is uh, not new. This particular line of dx, df of the color is that mean. And then we replace that value over here, the x. So let's try. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, we created a variable uh, storage for the value of the mean. Okay, so. And then, it will be put on the value of the calories. And uh, the mean is 304 as you can see there. Uh, for row 18, the value is now 304.68. The 304.68 comes from the computation of the mean. So this particular code right here is the one responsible for getting the computation of 304.68. And that 304.68 is placed on the calories column using this particular code uh, we already know this one in our last topic so instead of putting a number here like what we did before which is 300 right now we're using a variable x to do that the data of the x depends upon the mean of the calories so this is somewhat like if you're going to put the mean, that's the average, somewhat like cannot affect the data. So that's, that's a good thing to do in replacing the values with the none, no? the none. Okay. Okay. This time, we also have uh, using the median. By the way, the mean can be computed using adding all the the data and divide it with the total numbers of data that is the mean this time num num this time around is we're going to use the median so the median is the value in the middle after you have sorted all the values ascending so um, um, let's say for example I'm going to give you an example for that uh, maybe later now uh, you're going to already have numbers, let's say numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that number you're going to arrange number 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's, those are 5 numbers. And after sorting them out, you're going to locate the middle of the, inform of the, of the data set. So the middle for 5, for 5, the middle is in location number three and um, that's four five six the six the six is the median so this is the code for that same same thing but you use that median instead of that mean so you can now um, click this one try and you can try that and as you can see here our data for the the average is 300 for something right but this time around if you're going to look at 18 and uh, number 18 and row row 18 and row 28 um the information is 291.2 this is quite uh, smaller compared to the average okay so that's how you're going to compute then we have the mode. Um, the mode is you are going to calculate the mode. Mode is the value that appears most frequently. Like for example, if you have numbers 2, 2, 4, 6, 2, 8, 9, and 10. So there are three twos there. So the mode is 2. Okay, so this is the code. Let's try to click the code. So, with this code, as you can see here, 
this is the code to get the mode that mode then um, after that um, so we have uh, you're going to look at the information for the calories and uh, who has the number of the most number of numbers there that appear that that data so that is the mode once you have that you have to replace uh, the answer there is 300 so using the mode our data for row number 18 and row number 28 will become 300 okay, so that's it guys so just a review we were able to what we did in this particular tutorial is able to uh, replace no the empty values all of them automatically but there is really a need for us to uh, replace no uh, no by the way before that is there is a need for us to drop no drop all the there is also a time where you need to drop all the empty values the rows you're going to drop the empty values but there are some times that you need to replace that with a certain value you can replace it automatically uh, using this, this one this code and then uh, you can replace empty values but the problem with this one is that um, all of the empty values will be replaced by number and sometimes um, they are not uh, relevant no the information that you're going to replace so you have to be specific the solution to that is you're going to replace only for specified columns this one uh, but in this case you use any number that you want and what you want is we used to use the mean median or mode in order to uh, get the particular value in this case the first code is using the mean the mean is the average value meaning the sum of all values divided by the number of values and later on we're able to relate the median which is you're going to arrange the numbers and then at the middle of that by the way if there are even numbers so there are two middle numbers what you will do is you're going to add the two and divide it by two so that is now your median after that is we have the mode we're in uh, we get the information uh, from from your your column uh, which of the par uh, particular information that comes uh, most often no most often like for example you have two four two four four eight seven eight so there are three four two two twos and uh, therefore the uh, mode is three okay so that's it guys that's uh, cleaning empty cells and uh, our next topic is cleaning room format I'm gonna click this one okay data of wrong format so cells with data of wrong format can make it difficult or even impossible to analyze data to fix it you have two options remove the rows or convert all cells in columns into the same format. First is convert into a correct format. In our data frame, we have two cells with the wrong format. Check out row 22. And this is the row 22. And uh, row 26. The column should be a string that represents date. So Rome 22 and 26. Uh, you can see here it's an and on 26 um, the format is not the same now, not the same. So the solution for this is we're going to convert it into a correct format. So with that, let's try to convert all cells in the date column into dates. Pandas has a two day time method for this so as you can see the import pandas as pd is normal you know already that df equals pd that read csv this is the code in order for you to read the data uh, the data is data.csv 
then you have now you're going to declare the df now the df this is now your data table with a specific column of date then pd to date time df date so then you're going to print so the result would be like this um so where is that row 26 was fixed you can see there now row row 26 but an empty date in row 22 got a not not a time value in other words an empty value so one way to deal with empty values is simply removing the entire row so how to remove rows um the result from the from the converting in example above gave us a not value uh, not value which can be handled as a null value and we can remove the row by using the drop in a method so df drop that in a subset equals date in place equals true so we can now remove that particular information then another fix cleaning wrong data or fixing wrong data wrong data does not have to be an empty cells or wrong format it can just be wrong like if someone registered 199 instead of 1.99 or maybe if uh, you have your typing speed you write there 200 for typing speed and that's a really fast speed that's not true or maybe you will type there 50 percent accuracy of error I guess that's uh, that could be false, no? That could be not true. Sometimes you can spot wrong data by looking at the data set because you have an expectation of what it should be. That's what, uh, like for example, for the typing speed. If you reach 100 WPM, then you're a student, it might be a not true, no? Or an age, if you have an age of 200, <laughs> that is not true. If you take a look at our data set, you can see that in row 7, the duration is 50. There you go guys, 450. For all other rows, the duration is between 30 and 60. It doesn't have to be wrong, but taking in consideration that this is the data set of someone's workout sessions, we conclude with the fact that this person did not work out in 450 minutes. Okay, how can we fix wrong values like the one for duration in row 7? So this is our solution by replacing values. One way to fix wrong values is to replace them with something else. In our example, it is most likely a typo and the value should be 45 instead of 450. And you could just get insert 45 in row 7. So you have there the code df lock 7 duration equals 45 uh, that lock there stands for location and uh, 7 there is the row 7 for small data sets you might be able to replace the wrong data one by one but not for big data sets to replace wrong data for larger data sets you can create some rules get some boundaries for legal values and replace any values that are outside of the boundaries this is an example when look at the values in the duration column if one value is higher than 120 set it out okay next is removing rows another way of handling wrong data is to remove the rows that contains wrong data this way you do not have to find out what to replace them with and there's a good chance you don't need them to do your analysis this is now the location wherein you can delete the rows where duration is higher than 120. For x in df.index, if df.log x duration is greater than 120, drop x. So, okay, this is also same as with age now. If the age is higher than, let's say if you want higher than 100, <laughs> so you can drop that now. Okay, so what's next? We have our last topic here, removing duplicates. So discovering duplicates. Duplicate rows are rows that have been registered more than one time. So as you can see here in our example, uh, location 11 and location 12 have similar values. 
So this is a um, reduplicate, no? Discover duplicates, you can use the duplicated method. So the duplicated method returns a boolean values for each now. So when you say boolean, it has a value of 1 or 0 or true or false. Okay, returns true for every now that is duplicated. By the way, my apologies for using 1 for true and 0 for false. But uh, yeah, the value there is really true and, and false. So you have there print df duplicated. So let's try to click try it yourself so that we could see the the result. Okay, so when we run this one, um, all of the information are they are all compared, no? Uh, the data are all compared if there are duplicates. So number twelve, number eleven. Uh, normally this one, the data of zero and one is compared. Here in uh, eleven and twelve is compared. So that's why it became true. Uh, that's why it became true. You can see here our works are just uh, not too big, no? Then to remove duplicates, use the drop duplicates method. So df drop duplicates in place equals true. The in place equals true will make sure that the method does not form a new data frame, but it will remove all duplicates from the original data frame. So we have here an exercises. In third percentage for removing rows with uh, empty cells. So let's try. I guess we should drop an A. Try to submit answer. Uh, submit answer. Uh, yeah, that's correct. That's drop in a. So I guess that's all, guys. That all. Yeah, that's all. So thank you very much for watching. I hope and uh, pray you were able to clean your data, no? Clean your data uh, using using um, using the codes here in Pandas. The tool the pandas tool thank you very much for watching and shout out to all bscs2 students of jeremy shoshan campus bye everyone thank you for watching